Hello YouTube, this is Detroit Borg and today we're going to take a look at Cyber Acoustics Digital Docking Speaker, the CA492. This is their newest portable dock for all the iPods and iPhones. This will also work with an aux cable, so if you don't have an Apple product that has a dock on it, like an iPod Shuffle, Zune, or any other MP3 player, you can connect an aux cable. So let's go ahead and get into this packaging and see what's inside. So here we have a 6 volt power supply. They've also included an aux cable. Inside we have some literature. We also have a carrying pouch for the dock. Since this is portable, you can take this dock anywhere you go and run it on batteries. Okay, so here we have the dock itself. There are two speakers behind this grill right here and you can see it through the light. We also have the universal dock for all iPods and iPhones. There are no dock adapters with this. Instead, you have this adjustable rest on the back, and I'll show you how that works in a minute. And if you look at the bottom, there are these rubber feet, which help to stabilize it on a tabletop. You can see it's a fairly slim profile, and on the back, we have the battery compartment, along with the aux input, the power supply, and the on and off switch. On the top, we have the onboard volume controls and the power button. Also up here we have a blue LED indicator. If we look in the battery compartment, we should see four slots for double A's. So we have two up here and two more that slide underneath. And right below the batteries we can see this little dial here. And this dial adjusts this backrest for the iPod. So instead of using universal adapters, you simply adjust this to adjust the distance between the iPod and the backrest. We can go pretty far. So this should adapt to all iPods, so let's go ahead and try them all out. I've gone ahead and loaded the batteries into the compartment. Let's tuck the ribbon in. Close it up. And now we're going to turn on the switch. We can see that there's a blue LED indicator light that tells me that it's powered on. So all we have to do now is connect an iPod. Let's start with the newest iPod Touch, the 4th Gen. So in order to play music, I can go ahead and control it. I don't have any music on this iPod, so what I'm going to have to do is go to videos, because I do have a video on here. And we're going to play Star Trek. So you can hear it playing right through the speaker right now. It sounds really good. And you can control the volume one of two ways. You can control it on the iPod itself, or you can control it on the dock. If you want to turn it off, just hit the power button and it shuts everything off. And you see a little red indicator light up here. And this will stay on until you turn off the power switch back here. So I've turned it back on. Hit play. James Cook is a friend of yours. Power off. Turns off and it goes into standby mode. So again, if I want to adjust the spacing between the iPod and the speaker dock, all I have to do is go back here, remove the battery plate, and adjust it. So there you go, you have less wiggle room back there. And it's important to note that when it's running on battery power, it will not charge your iDevice, your iPhone or iPod. So if you want to charge, you do need to plug in the power supply. Now with the power supply plugged in, I can go ahead and dock my iPod again, and it will charge. So as you can see, I'm now charging. Now I should also point out that if you turn off the dock itself back here, your iPod will continue to charge. So you can see right here, it's still charging. Now the dock itself isn't quite universal. It won't fit all iPods ever made. It will only fit uh, fifth generation and up. So here's a fifth gen iPod. Dock's just fine. It's a sixth gen iPod classic. Of course, all of the iPhones, here's an iPhone 4. Let's go to iPod. Let's go to podcasts. Let's listen to one of my favorite podcasts. I'm going to turn on the dock so we can hear it. We can increase volume that way. Today's September 20, 20 to 10. I'm Benito Gonzalez. I'm Brad Song. I'm Jason Howell. I'm Ray Again, the sound is surprisingly good for such a small speaker. Of course, this will also fit all the nanos. This is the new sixth generation nano. Controls the iPod's volume. So you can also control the volume. 
time on the iPod itself. You can actually hear the clicking sound on the speaker itself. Of course, all of these iPods have cases, so I can just fit this on here because there's plenty of room. And all I have to do is adjust this if I wanted. In many cases, I find I don't even need to bother with this at all. But if I want to, that certainly is an option. Of course, this dock only works with devices that support the 30-pin dock. And some devices from Apple don't, including the new iPod Shuffle. So if I want to connect this to the dock itself, I would have to use the included aux cable. Let's just plug this into the headphone jack. And plug this into the back of the dock itself. I'm just going to click play. I can increase volume on here or on here. Good. So the sound is quite robust and it does fill up a bedroom, a small office, or a small apartment. You can also turn this into an alarm clock by simply setting the alarm function on your iPod or your iPhone, and it will automatically play through the speakers. So I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to alarm. Of course, this is battery powered and completely portable, and they have included a little baggie here, so let's take a look at that. So here you go. You might want to turn this off before you put it in the bag. So there you go, it's pretty lightweight and portable and you can stick this in your backpack and take it anywhere you want. So once again guys, this is Detroit Borg taking a look at Cyber Acoustics Digital Docking Speaker Model CA492. Thanks for watching.